how much is your fees for student visas? I got a place at Mandakao Institute of Technology for a program and graduate diploma in data analytics, uh, level seven. What's your advice? MIT is a very good institution, and if you're getting into uh, the graduate diploma in uh, data analytics, good course. Uh, the way it works is that if you want us to represent you formally, then we and if you do not have any prior visa rejection, like and you did not apply for UK or Canada or US, and if you do not have a prior visa rejection, then we will definitely pick up your case and fight it free of cost because we get compensated by the institution. And that's how our company uh, earns its money is we are like a recruitment firm you know we are like a placement firm when we take a good student and place them in a, in, in a good university or a good uh, institution of technology they uh, reward us by giving us our uh, placement fee or the recruitment fee so where we are getting um, compensated by the institution we do not charge anything from the uh, student uh, students there are some companies who will take it from the institution as well as from the student, but we are definitely not one of those people. The only places when uh, or uh, times when we do charge a fee from a student is if they have had a prior visa rejection to some other country. Because if you've had a prior visa rejection to some other country, then the chances of you getting a visa to New Zealand are also uh, coming down because, you know, the government of New Zealand and the immigration department will, you know, kind of scrutiny your application a bit more to understand what happened uh, to this guy. Why did a fellow government uh, uh, department from Canada or UK or US or wherever reject this guy's uh, visa application? So that means much more work for us. Uh, so because of that uh, extra work of compiling your case and ensuring we build it stronger and stronger and stronger, in those instances, we do charge a small fee. So what I would recommend was a formal letter uh, authorizing us to become your uh, representative to Manukau Institute of Technology to MIT and if they accept it then it is free of cost for you if they do not accept it and you still want us to process your visa because we are not getting compensated by the institution then we might then ask you to pay us a so, you know visa processing fee which could be a thousand dollars or around that region.